I just picked up a 1995 Great Canadian Canoe. It's been at, left outdoors. It's also been banged around a bit. So, got a little bit of work to do on it. Pretty well weathered. It's also got a broken stringer here, so the floor is flexing up and down a lot. Going to start straightening out the gunnel a little bit. I've clamped a batten on here just to give me a bit of a guideline. Gonna use a heat gun here, help peel off these old faded stickers. Okay, time to start grinding out the old damaged fiberglass. Gonna repair it with epoxy and a new fiberglass cloth. It's important to grind it back to undamaged glass. Have a nice overlap. Now, I need to push the hull down here to make it straight as I repair this stringer. I don't really need the power of these hydraulic jacks, but they do give me some very fine adjustment. I'll grind out the other damaged areas too, so I can mix the epoxy all in one shot. Since I can reach the damage from both sides here, I'm going to do an inside-outside repair. Much stronger that way. And gotta vacuum out all the dust. I like to pre-cut all my layers before I mix up the epoxy. A lot less messy that way. This is a 12 ounce uh, fiberglass tape. I'm using West System Epoxy for the repair. Now this canoe was originally made with uh, polyester resin, but uh, epoxy has a much better bond to the cured resin, cured old resin. And uh, even though it's more expensive and takes longer uh, to cure, it does make a stronger repair in the end. Now, I don't dip my fiberglass into the pot of resin. That that leaves you with too much resin. It makes it brittle. Uh, what I do is I like to paint the resin on the repair area, and then I'll put the fiberglass down, work it through with a brush. Then I'll do the next layer, put it right on top of that, and again, work it through with a brush. That way, the layers are all very next to each other. They're in close contact. You don't get resin floating between the layers, uh, which would make a very brittle and weak repair. I've laid down six layers of the tape uh, in line, and I'm adding a seventh layer transverse. And now to the outside. This is eight ounce woven cloth. Uh, I'm going to eventually put four layers on the outside and three layers on the inside. Oops, we just started to get a light rain shower, so I'm just going to drape the tarp loosely over this. Epoxy is now cured after a few days, and I'm going to take off the jacks. Now the repaired area is kind of rough, so I'm going to smooth it off uh, so we don't uh, cut our feet on it.
Time to Feather Edge. I find feeling it with your hand is the best gauge. Now I'm going to mix up a batch of, of epoxy with micro balloons. It's kind of like Bondo, but it's epoxy based. Just keep adding until you get the right consistency. I've begun sanding out the gel coat oxidation with a uh, thousand grit sandpaper with water. And now I'm going to try buffing it out. This is a random orbit buffer that I picked up a few years ago, and I'm using 3M rubbing compound for uh, fiberglass gel coat. To finish out the outside of the repairs, uh, I'm mixing in some uh, red uh, Evercoat uh, colorant into some epoxy. I'll feather edge this by hand, starting with 220 grit. Notice I'm keeping my fingers flat so I don't get little, little grooves. This will get followed up with uh, 500 grit and then 1000 grit wet or dry or wet sanded. Now the whole canoe's been sanded and buffed out. It's no longer pink, it's red again, and now I'm adding just a little coat of wax. And buff out time. This quarter sport needs refinishing, but all the hardware is plain steel and very rusty, so I'm taking it out. I don't mind breaking these bolts because they're getting replaced anyway. They're definitely stubborn, and uh, well, you may just have to resort to drilling them out. All the hardware in the seats are going to get the same thing, replace them with stainless steel. The self-tapping screws holding the seats aren't as rusty, but they're coming out anyway. And here they are, replacing those plastic caps with the stainless finishing washers. 
taking a heat gun and a scraper to the old varnish. I've added some L angles that go over the top and the end of the thwart to reinforce it. And uh, I've got some white paint on the inside of the repairs. It doesn't match well yet. I'll probably work on that more in the future. But for now, I just want to get this thing in the water. This is not so much a how-to as a how I did it. Not looking for a museum quality restoration. Just want to make this thing usable again. Probably during the winter, I'll uh, refinish the paddles.